hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i am going to be showing you how to install tamox gui on your android phone so most people usually ask me the question why is it important to install the gui, the GUI version of tamox on your phone well um some tools some important tools that work with tamox actually requires gui to function so um, it is advisable or it is advised that you have the GUI version of Tamox in order to be able to use this tool, you know, so that you can get the best experience of Tamox while using it. So uh, without wasting much of your time, let us get to the video. So welcome back guys. Um, to install the GUI version of Tamox, of course, after installing Tamox from either Fdroid or from GitHub, the first thing you have to do is update Tamox packages. To update Tamox packages, you're going to be using the command pkg update. All right. Okay. Now that Tamox has um, Tamox packages has been updated, the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to install X11 repo. Now, um, for GUI to function on Tamox, it requires X11. Okay. So you're going to have to install X11 repo. Install X11 repo with the PKG install X11 iPhone repo command. And after installing X11 repo, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install XFCE, of course. You do that with the command PKG install XFCE4. Then, of course, we're going to install um, the terminal, XFCE4 terminal. And um, there's a few packages as well. So we're going to install Tiger VNC too. So you do that with the command PKG install xfc4 the terminal and tiger vnc okay now after installing all of that the next thing we're going to do is um i'm going to be pasting the link um for you to be able to download this wallpaper in the description below the default wallpapers that comes with xfce is not that you know making sense so i downloaded a few wallpapers then i compressed them in a zip file so i'm going to be pasting the link to be able to download that zip file in the description below so as you can see the tamoxw.zip that is the zip file i'm talking about so we're going to move this zip file now we're going to move it to the background folder to so do that you're going to type the command cp then you're going to paste the name of the zip file which is of course tamoxw.zip then you're going to move it to the background folder the background folder is in the shared directory so to access it you're going to use the command cp tamoxw.zip dollar prefix forward slash share forward slash backgrounds all right and then um if we cd into that directory now you're going to find the zip file there as you can see so we're going to unzip that file by using the unzip command and then we're going to paste the file name and it has been unzipped and if we type ls again let me clear the screen clear and if we type ls again as you can see we now have um new files there so i'm just going to clear this now and i'm going to move forward to the you know the connection aspect so to to connect now i'm going to create a shortcut command for connecting okay so that is going to be vnc server dash geometry which is the geometry of your phone the geometry of my phone is 1600 times 700 pixels so please make sure you find out what the geometry of your phone is and use it then env display is equal to ratio one then xfc e4 section okay so the vnc server uh that's geometry command is the command for the g uh, for the vnc why the m display is equal to ratio one xfc for session is connecting us to the ratio one of that vnc server in the local house i hope you understand so we're going to be saving this in the dot dot four slash user four slash bin four slash vnc uh file okay so i'm going to give this executable permission now by typing the command ch mode plus x and of course followed by the directory and the name of the file so um let me echo the file so that you can see let me cut the file so that you can see what it looks like as you can see it is two different commands the vnc server command then the connection command okay so if i type the command vnc now the command vnc is going to launch you know my vnc server so i'm going to be connecting to the vnc now using the vnc viewer application you're going to connect to localhost one which is of course the um the we are connected to the localhost one then you're going to name your you know you're going to name your connection so i'm just going to name it tamox xfc4 and i'm going to scroll up and you know I'm, i want my picture quality to be high so i'm not going to leave it in automatic then i'm going to click on connect okay then if you're creating your vnc this thing for the first time you're going to be requested to enter a password the password you created in your vnc that is the password you're going to be using to log in and as you can see 
the xfc for wallpaper isn't that looking beautiful so you right click on your screen then click on desktop setting and on desktop setting you're going to click on folder click on orders then you're going to look at background as you can see right here background user shares background so you're going to click on background background and then you're going to click on open okay on background you're going to click on open and as you can see the wallpapers that are you know uploaded is now here so um i'm going to use the wallpaper i like best which is this particular wallpaper here i prefer this wallpaper so this is the one i'm going to be using and um you're going to you know you're just going to edit the desktop to your taste you know to what you like it to be and then um i forgot to install some other packages pkg install netsoft netsoft is a browser that you can use on you know you can use on tamo so install netsoft and um the xfce app menu plugin and um that is it that is it man with a few more settings okay just arrange your desktop the way you like it the way you prefer it okay and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the you know the the style of this windows icon so to do that you're going to go to settings you're going to go to appearance and when you're on appearance you're going to click on icon okay icon and i want to change it from adwaita to movix okay i think that one looks a little bit better and then the most important part of this is always making sure you queue your vnc server when you're done using tamox okay so to kill your vnc you're going to use the command let me clear this screen so that you can see it well you're going to be using the command vnc server dash q then ratio one which is the ratio of your local host whenever you want to connect again you can always use the vnc command to connect and when you're done you can always use the vnc server dash q command to you know um, end the connection so um that is going to be all for this video um thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye